Hey family, this is the cast of Preacher Talk and we are getting ready to go into another amazing episode. But first, we gotta tell you about our incredible sponsor, the Seed Up brand founder of the Hoop Triggers Plus app. That's what you hear in the background. That's why it's so churchy here. But guess what? Not only have all of us downloaded, but over 1.5 million people around the world have downloaded Seed Up brand apps. And that's a good reason why. Churches and ministries and platforms all over the world yeah. has used this app to enhance their music ministries. If you don't have musicians, if you don't have singers, if you don't have those things that enhance worship, you need Hoop Triggers Plus to take you to the next level. It is a necessity for you to have it uh, for your ministry and your different platforms. Well, it's time to make a decision. Go and download Hoop Triggers Plus right now on the Google Play Store and on the Apple App Store. You can't wait. Go do it right now. It's time to do it. And you have to do it now because the far-reaching impact of Hoop Triggers proves it's not just a fun app, but it's a necessary, serious tool that any ministry, any platform, any group can be blessed by. So go and download it right now. That's right. You heard it. Go get it. We all have it. You need it. It's going to take your music manager to another level. Let's go into the episode. Well, let's come on, put our hands together, and give God some praise in this place, everybody. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. yes, yes, yes. Well, you know what it is? It is Monday night at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Preacher Talk Podcast, we are here live from the uh, Cyber Sanctuary. That's what yes. this is tonight. It's a cathedral. Shout out again to our sponsors, the Seat Up Brand Hoop Triggers and everybody else Woo-hoo. that helps us do what we do. I hope you've downloaded it. You know what to do. But I'm Pastor Mark Moore Jr. here, and next to me I have Brandon and God Jacobs. Right on time. Woo. Let's simmer down. Let's go back. <laughs> Let's simmer down. I got that. He's did we, ready. Did we almost go up? He right is there? ready. You hear me? Across the table, we have with us the Nathaniel, one and only Nathaniel, Nathaniel, Nathaniel Green. Nah, you see, he says his name three times. One would have done enough, but another conversation for another time. Don't you go by another name? Bad. No, nope, never mind. Nope, 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 nope. nope, nope, okay. nope. <laughs> what? Naomi named me Nathaniel, and Nathaniel means gift of God. Ah. Mm-hmm. 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 So it's one of those things of speaking those things that are not as though that. You're a gift to somebody. I like that. I but thought it was nonsense, Nate. <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> that too, Nate. Because I don't play you. And that's what, <laughs> when I tell no you, nonsense, Nate. No if nonsense. we could tell the story <laughs> yeah. of his yeah. willingness <laughs> to rebuke. You hush your face. I will. Yes. It's in his much. blood. He's got a strong rebuke. It's in his blood. He's got a strong rebuke on him. Yes, you a strong rebuke on him. So you know Pastor Moore, you know Bishop Jacobs, you know Pastor Green, but then you got to know that this is. Did he clear his throat? I did. Apostle Brandon Clark. And And as we ask the musicians to bring it down, thank you, thank you. We have to get into it. What is this week's Clack Fact? I'm so glad you asked, and I I came prepared this time. I love it. I have a (laughs) bubble gut preventative pastry. (laughs) Hear me out. Hear me out. My team and I, we have been working, Mm -hmm. we've been conspiring, we've been uh, mixing. Cuts and this fire. is a, it's already been a little nibbled on, but this is, I want to make sure you can see that. Yeah, let's get this that. is a bubble <laughs> gut preventative pastry. Mm-hmm. You don't eat it all at once. Okay. You don't nibbles. mix with coffee. You don't. But before any extravagant, you exotic want meal. Do you want to let go of the coffee you, you have? I mixed mine with coffee today. Do you want to move? Yeah. <laughs> let's put that If in. he has to step away let's, from the podcast for about Here's the challenge. If so. you mix it with coffee, it will backfire. Mm. Oh, no. And could cause liquid trouble. Keyword Liqu- backfire. Backfire. Mm-hmm. Liquid trouble. There's a lot going on inside. So, so this is a preventative pastry. But it you will don't backfire eat it all with coffee. Yes. Too much My coffee. My God. If you'll nibble on it and not consume completely, right. it will work in the system. Mm-hmm. Up to seven days. So don't eat the whole thing. That's no, no. the key. So you, no, you, you can't finish be it backed th- up for seven no, days. No no no, 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 no. You eat it throughout the day. Mm. Okay. It prevents seven days. Those seven days, do what you want. It prevents gout. Preventative. Will you're not missing swell. the key word. Prevent it. So that's right. You get ahead of it. Yes. Okay. And so you, you eat do this what and you you're want. good for seven days. So you don't have to use the bathroom uh, for seven days. You will use it. What but I'm you saying won't is it. your stomach won't fight you. Yes, you yes, you yes. will number two. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the emoji in edit. You will mm-hmm. number two, but there will be no liquid trouble. Why are we doing? This? And your stomach will not fight revival style. <laughs> okay. There will there be, will be no, no breakthrough. There will be no breakthrough. There will be 
no stuff. release. So you can ah. be in public, you can enjoy. But if you drink coffee, but if you there's going to be a problem. Mm. We haven't figured that part out. We're, yeah. we're working on the science. Out. I, think, I think we don't need to release this to anybody yet. Oh, yeah? Until we figure Watch it out. Watch this. Well, don't and he's got coffee on the Saturday. Wow. Well, I you tried my product. Can y'all wow. get him some water? But we do remember And I'm living on the wild side. <laughs> He's sitting on your side, Green. Just let that clear. He's pray. sitting on your side. He's living pray. on the wild side. It's going to be a clack so, yeah, attack. You, for real. <laughs> it's going to be a clack attack. It's going to be a clack if, attack. If you guys will give us till September, uh -huh. these will be out in the stores and Whole Foods. Well, not the store. You'll be able to come to our, our congregation and they'll be in the foyer with the other. You know what it looks like? A, what's, that one, yeah. what's that white and blue? Preventative brand? pastries on the way. You welcome Ed, to Edermans. America. Edderm Edderm Edermans. That is Edermans. what it is. We have. That looks like an Edermans. That does. A tasty treat. Oh, hey. Praise the Lord. <laughs> tasty treat. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. Salute to all Here of our spiritual fathers and pastors. Hey, we yes. love you. Thank you. Yes. So let, let's, let's jump into it, guys. We had a phenomenal conversation last week. And, of course, if you haven't shared, what are you waiting on? If you haven't subscribed, hit like. Put this in your group text. You need to get this out there. The numbers are going up weekly, and we're grateful for that. Seriously, I've not been able to go anywhere. He's not gone anywhere. He's not gone anywhere. He's not gone anywhere without somebody yeah. walking up and talking about the podcast and, and how it's impacting. So we're, we're sincerely appreciative. But yes. we said something last week about WTF, mm -hmm. not in the profane sense, but in the form of a question, what's that for? Yeah. All of us are sons of the church. Slightly different variations, but still uh, different spirit, different administration, same spirit, right? And so we all have been exposed to culture and uh, rules and regulations, and we're living in an hour, we're living in a day, we're pastoring people, we're working and living among people that are anti rule, yeah. anti establishment, good, anti standards, standards. Yes. That's, that's the word. And so, and this is certainly not to be negative or, right. or, or to throw off on any other previous generation, <laughs> but in times past, I think we all would agree there was a generation that would receive what was preached from the pulpit with an openness, mm -hmm. an, acceptance, uh, an acceptance, and a willingness <laughs> to say, okay, let, let's line up. This is what our pastor said. This is what he said, what she said. This is what we do. This is what we don't do. The issue is we are now products of the Google generation. <clears throat> Absolutely. Right? I don't have to wait to get a revelation if you're right or not. I can literally fact check you while you're preaching. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't have you can't just tell this new learned demographic, this inquisitive group, you can't tell them do this because I said so. That doesn't Absolutely. work anymore. That that there was a time where that might have worked. Yeah. There was a, a certain willingness and openness, but th this is not the because I said so, General. Why did you say so? Yeah. But I said because the Bible said it. No, it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Show me where it said it. it. It says it right here. That's not what that means. So we're, 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 we're in a place where part of the constriction of the gospel requires us to adhere to certain rules and, and standards and policies. But where's the line between man said and God said, because mm. I think we're missing a lot of people, losing a lot of people, because <laughs> we're superimposing man said on God said, God said on what man said, and now here we are. Yeah. Let's and talk about I, it. And I think that we can say that God may give a rule prophetically to the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, he may be he may bring a house into subjection or order that is a demand or a command from God may not necessarily be in the Bible meaning you know what God has called us for God has called us to fast mm -hmm. you understand what I mean uh, on on these particular days and I think like for instance our church and I got challenged on this and speaking of the you know we fast at the end of the year the I, first, I, I've you, been meaning to ask you about that they do their like their January consecration yeah we in December. December. We do ours before. We do ours at the end of the year. You we said do. someone challenged you. So, on? so, I, but I, you know, in the, you know, everybody else is fasting at right. the beginning of the year because God is getting us ready for the year, and we consecrating our heart and mind. I said, that's how y'all. That's do. the that's face that's they make. Yeah, yeah. How they do it. Yeah. 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 Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> With the hand. Yeah. And so I was. I said, well, you know, we have been doing that since we started at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we were doing it, you know, I was very radical when I was younger. We used to fast through Christmas. My God, I really? It. I know I don't do that no more. But <laughs> I love that. Though. But but we fast um, the first 21 days of December. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. And so, you know, it's just, it's what we do. I can't even tell you, oh, the Lord rained down from heaven. I think that's right. a cultural thing for yeah. us. Yeah. But sometimes I think that the Lord may call your church to do certain things because of a season of consecration or just because it's a warning or something that God is requiring from you all that may not necessarily be for the whole body of Christ. Uh-huh. Yeah. But it may be something that the Lord is calling you all to that may not necessarily be in yeah. Scripture. And I think that 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 we can say God is leading us to do this. Yeah, I want to wrestle yeah. with something that that you two Please. have have said that's uh, sparking in my mind. I I wonder why we are anti-establishment. Like I imagine, and I I can I can hear the argument online would be Jesus was anti-establishment, but I would just suggest check his motives. Yeah, I wonder if that's we are good. anti-establishment for ambitious distinction. That's so good. So that we could stick out, be noticed, and then be prominent in what we're building. That Tower of Babel yeah. was anti-establishment, mm-hmm. yeah. but the motives were wrong. Yes, It was for their own pride and exaltation. And although I do think we need to define what is that for, I do think that it is equally important that we have a measure to purify the motives yes, before so we intentionally go against the grain. Yeah. Why are you being so difficult? Yeah. yeah. We weaponize Jesus inaccurately. He, we forget, he said, I didn't come to abolish. abolish. Right. Yeah. Came to fulfill. Came to fulfill. Came to fulfill. Jesus That's exactly. was a phenomenal Jew. Yeah. yeah. And here's the Think other about thing. that. Like he, he kept da 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 da. Yeah. So go ahead. No, it's the whole relationship versus religion conversation oh, that we're God. always here. It's not about religion. Being religious is <laughs> about having a relationship. And I ain't got to come to church to have a relationship. These voices you, you, and you, faces, you two, <laughs> you all know the people that are on the what we've They thought of yeah, somebody <laughs> right there. <laughs> but here's the thing. You don't have to go to church to be a Christian, mm. but you do have to go to church to be a good one. Come wow. on, and we, we we have a lot of people who are talking mm-hmm. against religion. I do believe that the real problem is when we become too religious that we cease being spiritual, but religion has its place. The institution has its place. It it helps to ensure that there is a standard mm-hmm. when we gather in the name of God. And before y'all try to jump my brother in the comments, because I'm not going to let you do it, he is talking about being a good Christian in church attendance, because that's God's rule. Absolutely. He's echoing it. He's not. Absolutely. He ain't starting no trouble, and, and, but it oh, is what it let me, is. Let me add to that. Thank yeah. The Bible tells us in James to have good religion. Yes. So that led to the question I was going to ask. Good, Jacobs. When we talk about religious as a negative framework, what are we really saying? We're religious in so many areas so that, we, absolutely. That, that, that we promote. You go to you, you go to work religiously. Yep. Absolutely. If, if you go have a certain quality of life and keep it, you you take care of your children religiously. Why have we allowed that to become? It, it's religion in culture such a religion negative. speaks to a discipline and a practice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think religion only becomes out of order when we make religion a, a mandate over relationship. Mm-hmm. I think the issue is that we we've had good religion with no relationship. Yeah. I think religion and relationship go hand in hand. I think, I think it's like marriage. I think it's like having a covenant and intimacy. Yeah. Uh, it's a dangerous thing to have a marriage with no intimacy and the intimacy without marriage. It's a dangerous thing to have a relationship without religion. You need commitment. You need discipline. You need you need you need culture. Can I give different words to what you're saying? Yes. Say the same thing Absolutely. in a different way. I, I think the problem comes in when we idolize Absolutely. what Got we you. do. There you go. Versus continuing to focus wh- on who we're doing it for. Absolutely. And that's the problem. Like you, 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 say, you can yeah. almost make an idol out of anything. Anything. So, so when it is, well, this is what we do, and it becomes all about what we do, and yeah. we cease focusing on who are we doing this for, that's when things kind of become imbalanced. Let me say it the same way, just in different words for I you. I love this flow. I think that it is, in addition to that, Religion can be hypocrisy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I honestly think it is the hypocrisy or even, Brandon, the perceived hypocrisy. Because yeah. yeah. what That's I'm finding, it. there's an emerging generation that doesn't like that you may have touched what they touched, but you get to talk about it. Mm-hmm. But I don't think it is the gospel preacher 
who is trying to be superior yeah. in the exposure of what we shouldn't do. Thank you. I that think the gospel fabulous. preacher is trying to invite us mm -hmm. into a mutual, I've dealt with it too, yeah. don't go that way. Yeah. 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 It's like in Proverbs, when the Bible talks about uh, the young man is going down the wrong road. And the Bible says that there's an older man in the window that sees him. Come on. Mm. And admi hey, hey, don't go down there. Well, how did he know he shouldn't go down there? Hello. He's been there. He been now. He's been down that road. Yes. So so that, that, that's the, to, to me, that's the beauty of, of this continuum. No, no, I can share. You know, Paul said, I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Mm hmm I think even in the context of preacher talk, there are a lot of us that are distracted, discouraged, whatever, because we see the highlights, but we never see the scars. We never yeah. see that pathway, that that what 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 led to this point. And so, let, let's just establish this because there are people that want to know: Are standards necessary? Are they godly? Are they are they a thing of the past? What is our posture? Because I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump out there and hope I don't you know catch too many strays. I think that standards are absolutely essential. And I also think that they vary from house to house. Absolutely. And I don't think that I don't think that there's a contradiction there. I think that we can say standards are necessary and they vary from house to house. And I think that and, and we talked about this last week. We talked about how if a standard offends you, you need a heart check. Yeah. Mm. And I'm gonna tell you what really blessed me. Matthew twenty four around verses ten through thirteen, the Bible <clears throat> speaks what Jesus is talking about, how you know that we're in the end of day. Mm -hmm. He says when when the people when offense grows, <sighs> the spirit of offense is growing then you know you're towards the end of the day. You know, we talk about the wars and rumors of wars, and yes, that is a, that's also an announcement to the Lord's return. But another announcement to the Lord's return is the spirit of offense that's that here. is growing. And I think we can't Man. miss that. And I think you said it when we first started, this spirit of rebellion yeah. and offense, and everybody's offended, big, man, you can't rebuke, you, yeah. can't, you can't call nobody and say, hey, you know, to get this or, or whatever the case. It, it is an announcement that the Lord is on his way back. So when, when you get offended because a culture says don't wear hats mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or a culture mm -hmm. says you know uh you, you know um don't you know we wear dresses here you yeah. understand what i mean mm -hmm. you know if if you love god it's one of them things where hey if this is what you all do yeah. i'm i love the lord I, i'm willing to conform for the sake of unity Come right that's what right. paul spoke to when he says yes. If meat offends your brother, that's it. Yeah, just don't, yeah. don't eat it. Yeah, don't eat it. and it's so don't, simple. Don't use your liberty as a weapon. It's, so, it's you said it. It's so simple. <sighs> I don't have to flex my freedom. Yeah, and use my freedom as as a as a, a, a hammer, a baseball like bat to beat you with. Oh, y'all, yeah. y'all in bondage over there. Y'all, no, no yeah. we, we have a we have a different mandate. God, that's a sermon title. I don't have to flex my yeah, freedom. I don't have to, I I don't have to flex my freedom. But the truth is, we are lusting after superiority. Yeah. Yes. Better someone than someone to think that I'm closer Talk. to God. Yeah. Talk. And because you wear that hat, you clearly don't have my oil. So y'all come to me. That's yeah. it. I got something. And Clack, you know what that is? It's the spirit of Lucifer. Yeah, man. yeah, come on. The spirit of Lucifer so is brooding over many churches because people want to have the superior voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, they want unpack to, that. Unpack that. Unpack that. I mean, look at what he said. He said, I will ascend. Mm -hmm. yeah. I will sit my throne above the, the stars of God. I will be like the most high God. He wanted to be in control. He didn't want to be in collaboration. And that's what a lot of people want. Yeah. Some people hey, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. We're building a sermon here. That's uh, point right number one. Point number, <laughs> point number one. I don't have to flex my freedom. Point number one. Because I don't. I want control and not collaboration. Control versus collaboration. Yeah. Jeez. That's what they want. That's why when they come to our churches, and, and this is just some people, they come in not wanting to conform to the standard of the house. Yeah, they they come in trying to change the standard. Spirit of rebellion. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I'm going to tell you, or, or let's just say people who are not coming to necessarily be a part or visiting people yeah. who because of yeah. your standard they're offended and they won't worship with you Ooh, Jesus. or what about the gen ones generation ones the first people that came with you when you started your church that refused to conform to the evolving standard Ooh. Now that you have a deeper yes, Lord. I mean, what kind of civil war is that brooding? Oh, because that's civil. there is a cultural evolution that your church will have to go Better through continually. It. Oh, if it's if gonna you're grow. going to continue to be relevant. Yeah. If, yeah. if your church ceases evolving culturally, it's only a matter of time before your church ceases to matter.
And Ooh. I'm gonna say this, and and there's a difference between evolving culturally and biblically. Yes, sir. Right, 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 that, right. That's really good. Presentation and, and is I, different. Yeah, and yeah. I think you know, uh, uh, it's 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 the same ministry, if you will, but a different method. Yeah. And I think that we have to be careful because some people take evolving to evolve biblically and not culturally. Yes, evolve in the culture, but don't change the message. Absolutely. Biblically, we need elders. Yeah. Culturally, mm-hmm. the personnel might change. Yeah, that's right. good. I needed sister brown book when i first started yeah but now that we're at ten thousand, i need sister black book right her her education with come on but when i tell you them gen ones yeah will say how dare you get rid of me not give me with us the kingdom of god in my opinion is not about opportunity Jesus was not I just giving it. people opportunity. Uh, yeah. If he were, why you got three? Why do you have 12? Why do you yes, have sir. 72? Yeah. Why do you have the masses? Yeah. yeah, You have to have a certain type of heart and skill set yeah. to be one of those three. And I'm going to tell you something. If Gen 1 would really embrace their assignment as Gen 1, they will they will disciple Gen Come 2 on, that's it, into the vision. That's because it. guess what? You have the skill. <laughs> I have the heart. Come that's on, it. man. So now let me disciple your skill into the heart so that when you take my spot, you don't damage our leader yeah. mm. or the ministry. You understand? It's, it's a dangerous thing to deploy them before you disciple them. Yeah. And that's what you were seeing a lot of that in church. They, that, that's like the story Bishop Joseph Walker told mm. about Mount Zion when they were growing. Mm-hmm. He said, you know, we, wow, it's an amazing this. church, by the way. Oh, oh my God. Amazing Bishop church. Walker's the man. I amazing church. He's the man. But he was saying that that they had hit a major growth spurt Mm -hmm. and he'd had the same people in place. And so he had this sweet old secretary. And he said one day the White House called. Mm. White House called the church. Oh yeah. Yeah. White and House. Now that's what listen, you, man. Yeah. What? It's a levels to this. It's <laughs> levels to this. It's levels to that. Not the governor. My, my church not goes up mayor. when they call. Not so. the councilman. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> we go up when you call. Shut up. The White House called them. <laughs> that's a great little home. That's a great little home. <laughs> he said the White House, House called <laughs> the secretary. And she answered, it's the Lord's Day at Mount Zion. How can we help you? Mm. And she said, yeah, this is the White House. She said, quit playing on this phone and hung up. <gasps> Ain't the White House calling here. Uh-huh. You're about to be fired. Because, but Jesus. the lesson that he was making when he told that story was we had someone that had a love for the house. Yeah. They had a heart for the house, but they were not at that time ready to expand That's for where so the house, good. new wine, old wine skins, old wine, new yeah. wine skins. They didn't have the capacity to expand to where we were. Mm. They were in love with who we were. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh! I think Come we on need here. to pause Hold that. On, Mark. Hold on, Mark. I think we need to pause that. How many of us have Mark people that goodness. love? That was good. I'm feeling this on the moment. Wait, here. hold on, on, Mark. And I hate it when people do this to me. Please run that back. Say that again. <laughs> How many of us have people that are in love with who we are yep. and who we were? Yes. But are not able to handle who we're becoming? Or yeah. watch this. Wow, so man. in love with who we are that they stand in awe and infatuation, mm-hmm. but they're not serving. Exactly. But this you, is how churches know. make idols out of old buildings. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I went to the blue wall. Bro, yes, the bro. blue oh. wall is not who it's we are. It's not the same glow. You know, people I've seen church. Oh, I, I love Night Army. We that's all fine. know churches. <laughs> we all know churches. I'm telling you. That were Ooh, hot, did crammed, chairs down the aisle. We complained every week because that's to me. We packed it here. We raise money. We get a new building. We move to the new building. And they get over there and say, I mean, this is nice, but it just but, ain't. Ooh, I remember but there was, we there was, was a glory over at May. Same pastor, same praise team, same band, same choir director. But you know and, why and this glory is though, in the right? building. You know why people are so tied to what was, to the point that they can't grasp what will be. Yeah. Because more than likely, what was, it was profitable for them. Uh, and what it's becoming, hey, they're true. trying to find their place again. Green, that's right, true. Man. That's but, true. But 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 let me see. Let me let me wow. speak in contradiction to that, because I agree with you. How do we as pastors minister to that? Because I think what you're saying, Nate, is so powerful, and, I'm, and I may be turning the corner, and I don't want to turn too far. Let him use you. Bye, yeah. But I think what's happening is... <laughs> what? <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> Stay ready. Uh, yeah. how, do, how do we handle that? Yeah. When Because how do we handle that, Mother? that now can't find her place in the evolution, that mm. member 
that leader because what ends up happening happening is we end up losing them. Yeah. And they were very faithful to us in one season, but yeah. they're not needed in that season. Mm -hmm. And how do we turn them into senior disciples? Uh, you just said it. You just said it. You yeah. just said it. You make sure they understand that while they might be needed in the same place, they're still needed in the house. Mm -hmm. They're needed so in the same role, place, but not the same seat. Not the same seat. We need you on the bus, but you ain't got to drive no more. Yeah. You've been driving for 40 years, mother. Yeah. Sit down. I want, you to, I want you to put your feet up. But this is but, where I question at times my personal impact because for me that is a discipleship and prayer issue yeah if your place should always be in the house no matter how large or how evolved yeah. is to disciple and to pray yeah but i'm concerned that that's not enough mm -hmm. i think what needs to happen is we need to it goes back to this conversation we had a while ago about culture mm. there needs to be a visionary culture where the leader is not the only one who is able to see mm. it. Churches that hear are common, but churches that see are rare. Mm -hmm. And we have to train and disciple our people into a culture that helps them to see beyond where we are. Yeah. Because there may be some seniors who God's hand is still on them yeah. for now. Yeah. But we got to train them how to see themselves yeah. functioning yeah. in what will be. And I think part of that is showing wow. that there's value outside of your position. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Man. You have value. Now, come on. Let's just not to be negative. Let's talk. Especially talking about sanctified church. A lot of us have come from prisms where we're fighting for a, a chain and a certain color shirt and, and, no. and a ring and a cross and a collar oh. because this is what I now derive my legitimacy from. I, I and I'm, I'm just talk. I don't mean anything to the community. Mm -hmm. I don't mean anything in, 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 in the marketplace. I have no clout in academia. My family, I, I know nobody stands and claps for me when I'm walking the house from work. Oh, come on. The daddy is here. Let's celebrate him as he comes. I don't get none of that. He took the trash out. Oh, we think I, none of that. But when I put this, this magical chain and collar and, and shirt on, eyes of somebody. Now. Can we take it a step further? Yeah. I think in some cultures, congregationally, it's not necessarily the color of the shirt and the chain, although I do think that's real. Mm -hmm. I think some of it's just proximity to the guy with the mic. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I however, just however, it be manifests. Close. Yep. however it manifests, it's status. Yep. Ooh. Well, however, Hold whether on, it manifests in the now. quarter, I'm in the da, 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 da. Yeah, the arm, devil of status. I feel something. The glory it's is the on the arm. This right here. When he got to shake it off. <laughs> now, let me start snapping. No, that, that's not going to mark you right. right. It's status. It's st what is this Sometimes status Sometimes it's thing. manifest because I get to carry pastor's Bible. Yeah. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure, I think. Let's, let's, you, this, editors, let's get ready. This is obviously <laughs> spirit and truth's world. We're just living in it. <laughs> How do you handle people that look at you as a status springboard? The same way you handle it, because this is Reformation's I world, we're living in it. The same way you handle it, because this is New Zion Temple everywhere's Double. world, and you're living it. The same way you handle it, because this is Grace Cathedral's world. I think that it, that's a symptom of, of this of this entire syndicate, this circle here. And and please understand, it's not just the four of us. Right. There's so many others, and and you know, status is relative. Hold right? on, let me ask but, Bishop Younger, at, how you handle it at Ram Nation. Right. Mm, profound. That's powerful. Profound. I'm telling you. Thank you, sir. That is good. Thank that you. is good. Thank that you. is good. Glad you're here. Wow. <laughs> Another bomb. <laughs> Took it too far. Clash. Hey, because the last time he pulled up on us via he FaceTime did. and he, he did. He yelled he did. at us real good. Ain't nobody schedule. told me Ain't to schedule. Ain't nobody <laughs> told me to schedule. <laughs> this magical schedule. <laughs> we, we love you, young. He on tour. So love you, young. We love you, young. That's our brother. That is absolutely our coming brother. We are the Lake Levites. I am not the Lake Levites. Huh? Huh? The Covenant Canoe Brothers. Huh? <laughs> well, first of all, okay. you would be wrong okay. in that canoe, doing me in that water. Now, yeah. <laughs> but back to your point, back to your question, though, and I'm giving this to Jacobs. I think that everyone that God has trusted with some measure of, 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 of gifting has to be okay, number one, with being viewed as a platform. Yeah. Can, I, can I go to the Bible? It's good. Remember when Jesus is teaching at the side of the lake, crowd is thronging him. He looks at Peter, says, hey, real quick, can I use your boat? As a as a as a what? Are we going fishing? No, I need to use your boat as a platform. Yeah, I need mm -hmm. to preach. Peter had to be okay Man. with being used. What he has, his skills, his 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 whatever, he had to be okay with it being used as a platform. And I think that for all of us that are in proximity to Jesus, we have to be okay with people looking at us. I agree. 
and what we have as a, as a potential platform. And you know what's so powerful? That was at the beginning of Jesus' ministry. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even have the, the, yeah. the benefit of saying, well, you know, I'm going to get 5,000 people. Fit. No, no, no. I'm taking a chance letting him use me. And watch this. I gave him my platform and I became chief apostle. How about mm -hmm. that? When I, when I gave of myself not knowing that I would be anything, it's good, man. he was able to trust me to take the mantle or to take this to the next level. Peter had no, at that time, Peter was sure enough still cussing Peter. Yes, he was. He had no thought in his mind. He's he, Simon, technically. He's, yeah. And can I mention this? Mm. Actually, and if, we, if we're staying true to the text, it does, didn't necessarily say that he asked. The Bible said that just, Jesus just went into a ship. Mm. He was forced. <laughs> he, he Actually, he was forced. The crowd thronged him. And here's, yeah. here's my point. Don't be offended when Jesus shows up and he modifies the expectations you had for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I know this is a fishing boat, but it just became a pulpit. Talabashi. I know this is your business, but it just became my ministry. You better mm. preach, man. Huh? God damn man. How just, many, how many people are angry that it's not a boat anymore? Ooh. Oh, God. That oh. was my boat. Oh. And I want my boat. You know what? There could be a generation of people telling God, I want my boat back. I, yeah. I, I felt the Holy Ghost right there, man. Yeah. Give him my boat back. Yeah, I, I felt the Holy Ghost. And right guess there. what? Because he let Peter use his boat, Peter, was, who that caught that nothing all night, yeah. was able to yeah. catch what he was able to shift his business mm -hmm. and, uh, and become a multi. He went from a business owner to a corporation owner. Yeah. <sighs> because watch this. It's so many fish. He has to now collaborate with another that word again. And the Bible says he had to go get the other ship, and they had to come help them. We don't let, like Jesus standing in our business. Because uh, we let Jesus, ooh, will you let Jesus stand But what in happens business? when he transforms your business? Hello. I'm getting 15 sermons here now. <laughs> the man retired early. He reti Three yeah. years, he didn't have to work. That's why Jesus had, then you go out here and catch some more fish, because I need you with me. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. I need but, but, but even, even in that, three years didn't have to work, but, but he had built it such a point that he could take three years off and then come back. Yeah. Because when Jesus... Uh, takes that cloud chariot to glory. They were said, I go I go with cloud shit. chariot to glory. <laughs> you know, but but I think that we have to be okay with being used. Uh, Gary Swindell, one of our worship leaders here at Spirit and Truth, amazing, amazing yes, gift. Yes, we know him yes. as a worship leader, but as a preacher, nothing to play with. Wow. He said he was still talking about something in the group setting. He said the first message he ever preached was about the feeding of the five thousand. And he preached a message called Jesus Stole My Lunch uh, <laughs> from the perspective of the little boy. How many of us, back to your original point, are in ministry and we feel like Jesus has stolen our lunch? Like he took something that was important to me. He mm. took something that I thought I needed, whether it's a title, a position, status. Someone else came in and moved me out of my place. He took my lunch, but what did he do with it? He, he took it so much further than it ever could have been. So I think that we have to be to the question of what do I do with that leader, with that yeah. minister, that mother that, you know, what, let Jesus take your lunch because he can take it for. And if that older person, Gen 1, as you called them, is in love with the vision, even though there might be some human hurt around, mm -hmm. I, I did enjoy whatever. If I really love the vision. I want to see the vision go further. Yeah. yeah. So if this if this young, I've been the praise and worship leader, <clears throat> devotional leader for thirty years because we ain't had no music department. Mm. Now church has grown. We got singers and people that went to school for music coming in. Yeah. I really want the church to go. Maybe maybe I should let them do this because my heart is in a place where I always be valued to the house. Mm. I, th I think that the key word is flexibility. Yeah. yeah. The key to usability is. Flexibility. I love that. Can you allow God to bend you in a direction that you never anticipated or imagined he would bend you in for his glory? Yeah, I was thinking about that little boy, which, <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. I was thinking about that little boy. Who, <laughs> no, it's not. Look over there. I, I did. Yeah, I looked quick. to the hills. Just real quick. I didn't say nothing. Y'all can't put me on camera. <laughs> she goes, I ain't nothing. <laughs> I don't know. So back to I was point. thinking about that little boy, and I wondered how he must have felt that all of the preparation, because I was responsible enough to bring my lunch. Why y'all bring one? Why do I have to lose my lunch because I'm prepared right. to people that came to see Jesus that didn't think to bring anything to eat? And that's what I asked myself. Why do I have to be around Nate and Brandon? Because they're so unprofessional. So unprofessional. That 
I have to bring my professionalism. I'm embarrassed. That's Nate, right. You know what? I, do I, I really wish you would learn how to teach your words. I don't want to hear anything you're, you're saying. You're so reckless. Here's so reckless. Thing. You could have kept us out of I say whatever I need to say, but how you interpret it no, I didn't is based upon what's but in look, your But Brandon's spirit. eyes are still red. And you ate that nasty cake. <laughs> that <laughs> nasty <laughs> cake has something rising in your first spirit all, that makes you first interpret all, what they're saying. This is a preventative pastry. It's a preventative pastry. It's a preventative pastry. A, pa- a, pa- a, pa- a pathetic, a pathetic. <laughs> Took another bite. That's another. That's another two days right, right. there. Right. <laughs> so right, where's your coffee? Let's come back. It's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a mess. That's a Dutch. It's gonna be a mess. All right, go ahead. So let, let's let's come back around because we're talking about the importance of standards. So I think what we've just addressed is the importance of being adaptable, right? being able to, you know, shift with what's happening and, and evolve as the ministry evolves. But we have a lot of people that are watching, listening in our churches, sitting right now watching this, that are frustrated because this house is not like the last house. Mm-hmm. And as a result, and this is, let's go all the way there. We have to, you know, kind of touch on these issues. I think sometimes when it comes to standards, especially we talk about dress or lifestyle, we yeah. don't do this, we don't go there. Yeah. I think that there's an angry generation, yeah. an angry generation, because let's, let's be very honest. Some would present, I hope I don't get in trouble, some would present a view of the past that has been so whitewashed to where nobody ever got pregnant out of wedlock. Mm-hmm. That we, we just invented this. Right. No, that's no, not true, because I'm here. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'm saying, man, I I, I think the issue I'm with out of wedlock, baby. You, you want to know what the problem is? You're not ready to? What? I wasn't ready. I mean, that's my testament. Hold, hold, on, hold on. I'm not denying you all's testimony. Right. It, but that's jarring to hear this ease out of into nowhere. It. Ease into it. It's, it's real talk, But you know, what the, you know what it does, though? It gives hope, too, though. I yeah. it, Okay. It gives hope. I'm with you. That, I'm you with know you. what? I was a mistake. I was a church baby. I was a church baby mis- you know, mistake. Yeah, my yeah, parents yeah. both were serving in ministry. And here I come. And you're not a mistake. I was gonna say, don't that that makes me sad. Don't say, you're not a you're mistake. Not, I, I know but I, what I'm saying is you were language. unplanned. I'm, I'm unplanned, but okay. that's what I'm trying to say. At that time, I'm sure they were thinking Got I was you. a mistake. Yeah, yeah. Boy, you know, did they little did they know? And, and my mother battled abortion. Wow. And all that kind of stuff. But thank God I'm thank here. Thank God. Do you understand? We so would I, never have been excused and allowed to boast. <laughs> but I, Excuse But I want to, I, I think this is a good time to encourage a, a mother going through that. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Do that, do, that. do that. Where you had to go and endure the shame yeah. uh, and be, be set down. Uh-huh. And you may not know that there is destiny and purpose yeah. for that child. The mistake was the fornication, not the child. Absolutely. absolutely. You know, God, absolutely. Put, God had purpose on my life. God is the giver of life. I can relate to that a thousand percent, man. Yeah. And I know my mother doesn't mind me sharing this because it is right. our testimony. Yeah. My mother, church people can be so mean Ooh, absolutely. sometimes. And my mother just wasn't a member. My mother was the pastor's daughter. Yeah. No, no, the bishop's Not the pastor's yeah. daughter. Bishop, right. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. so there's already an expectation uh, and, and people put you on a pedestal that you never asked for, but you end up on because of your last name. Yeah. And I never forget my mother shared how she was warring with, you know, just how people can be. And uh, she always tells me, she says, son, you, I'm the first person that you want to the Lord. I said, how, when? She said, because she said, one day I was in a a bathroom, a restroom stall in a public place and I had a handful of pills Mm. and I, she said, I was going to take my life and yours. Thank you, Jesus. And the Holy Ghost spoke to me and said, you don't realize what's in your belly. Hallelujah. And she said, I I got rid of the pills and I went on about my life. Hallelujah. She said it was just the pressure of church people being how they can be sometimes. Because there's this expectation of perfection. And the reality is none of us are perfect. Absolutely. None of us even are perfect, you know? Uh, We got to do away with this philosophy that the people People came from the streets and the preacher came from heaven. Yeah. No, we all came from something. There you go. Yeah. We all came from the streets. And let, yeah, so, some street, whether it's Church Street or yeah. you know yeah. another street. But back to the back to the the the, the, the point as we as we kind of go further here and turn a corner. 
there's a generation that has been led to believe that what we see now is the first time men of God have ever had failures. Talk, yes. man. Nobody ever got it back in the old church when we wore them when we wore them long skirts and dresses. Nobody fornicated. Yes, they did. Right. They just back went in that old street. Yeah, yeah, back in that old church when we when we wore doilies and da da da. Did nobody? Did, 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 yeah, some of them folks had alcohol issues, substance yeah. abuse issues. There's nothing new under the sun. But because the generation today has been led to believe that everything then was, you know, stained glass. Mm -hmm. When they find out about the humanity mm -hmm. that existed then, what they do is they throw away both bath and baby. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what, Mark? I and think so now we hate all standards we, right. because we've been convinced standards don't work. But standards you, don't work. They Talk had about a, it. They had a standard of covering too. Okay. It, mm -hmm. And I think is that, it that or is it that they didn't have the internet? They just didn't have cell phones. I think no, I, no, no, I, no, no, no. I see what you're saying. But okay. I think, I think I, there right. was a standard of of, of covering and, and and restoration. I'm not saying everybody had that standard, mm -hmm. but I think there was a standard of protection. I think that oh, well, wait, though, okay. there's, yeah. a, and there's, there's a there's a okay, I'm gonna push I'm back though now. in that. I'm gonna push back though because if we look at even some of our organizations. How many times were there, and without being, you know, negative, how many times were there people in position that celebrated and rejoiced and promoted the issues of others because I want to get that seat? Oh, yeah. Was it, was, so how was that different from today? Yeah, that's true. Because, again, it wasn't the whole world, but at that time, our whole world was our organization. Yeah, yeah. Insert whatever, you know, we'll make up one true churches of, of the four brothers, right? <laughs> you the presiding bishop, and, you know, you, 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 we mad at you, and I want to be the presiding bishop, so uh, you got a speeding ticket. And I'm at the board meet. Y'all know Jacobs drive too fast. Right. Y'all, we how well, do we really need a leader that can't even control his right foot? How he gonna control the church? He can't control his foot. Y'all need to vote for me. But <laughs> you know what? Because I can control my foot. Control my foot. There were two spirits. That's always been. There were two spirits though that existed at one time. That there, there yes. was that ambitious mm. spirit in some who would expose you so they could replace you. Exactly. And, but then there were also Ooh. some who covered you because they saw where you were going but, and they wanted to protect but, your credibility. But isn't, no. isn't that still today? I, yeah, still, I, it does. No, it's it does. more if, venomous if you, today. Well, is, no, it more today venomous? it is more venomous. Is it more venomous, is it more venomous or is it more widespread? Has the distribution changed Man. our viewpoint? I don't know. I remember church in the late 80s, early 80s, and 90s, and I don't know. Pre-cell phone, pre-social media. I think I'm going to be wise. No, talk. no, you're being wild, and I'm, I'm with you. We're not going to go too far, but just think about this. The whole world still knew. It's just the world was that organization. I just don't know if people got paid to watch other people die. Oh, yeah. But say, again, say, say it again. That goes back to distribution. No, no there was, that is a powerful point, bro. There was no market for it. And I'm gonna tell you something. Very man. true. Not because the intention wasn't there. No, I'm gonna tell you that algorithm check will yeah. make you murder somebody with a and I'm a, yeah. and, I'm say this, and let me say this. I think that rebuke was stronger then. That's true. And I'm gonna tell you that there, 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 there. I can remember growing up in here. Get your mouth off the leader. Yeah, yeah. Get your mouth off of so and so. And people so, would. There was, there was, yeah, there was a level of honor, and there Touch was not my anointing. Yeah, there was a stronger rebuke then. That even if if you knew it, people knew how to behave. And not to say that all of it was okay. I'm saying that I think there was a different level of. Honor. How much of that honor though was because the failures and the faults of leadership again was not distributed. Mm. It was easy to say, I don't don't, don't talk about the man of God. Yeah. yeah. Because in the people's mind, man of God equals not 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 certainly not saying we should slip into idolatry. No, no, again, nobody's perfect. It but was honor. It was honor, but how much of that honor was easier to obtain because nobody knew everybody's stuff. Mm. Yeah. There was a distant because in that same yeah. era and generation, pastor was never viewed as your friend. Right. Yes, so now, true. now, literally using the term, that's, social media, bro. That, not, that's my bro. Or how about Sus. this? How about this? You, I, I tagged you in a comment or a clip and you hit like on my comment. Now, I mean, yeah, but Brandon Jacob, that's my boy. Yeah. yeah. Jay, that's, you know what this speaks to? Yeah, I, 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 we talk all the time. Mm -hmm. I was, he was delayed on a flight on a runway board. <laughs> and was scrolling and happened to see your comment that day. That doesn't give you a relationship, but what does it do? It makes you comment in their eyes. The, the, I'm going to tell you the difference between then and now. Okay. Then our 
the the covering and the leadership of our organizations are what gave us legitimacy. Yeah. Nowadays, a lot of likes give you legitimacy. True, man. And even in the organization. Mm -hmm. You're right. That's so true. true. It's 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 Relevance. likes. Yeah. And so, and honestly, I don't need them. Mm hmm. I, you know, I, I can build whatever I need to build on my own. Straight to consumer. My, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't need the institution. So we, because we have people that are anti all policy, anti all rule. <laughs> I'm not You're the one that knocks yours over. Okay, let's establish that. Okay, now, now he the drink police. I'm just being a brother. And his is a little closer to the edge as well. Oh. I don't know if. Do <laughs> I'm done. Drink. Oh, well, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta clean it up. But again, so what do we say to that person that now has a hard time receiving any set of standard, any set of policy because they've convinced themselves none of this works? Because if it worked, how? That's I, to me. That's one of the things that the enemy does is he raises up deception. The, the, the deception of if there, if there was power in these rules, then nobody would have ever dropped the ball and everybody's dropped the ball. So let's throw the rules away. No, that's not, that's not the way to go. Let's throw the rules away and let's lift up grace. I don't know if oh. you can personally do anything mm -hmm. for that individual. Mm -hmm. You may have to still blanket preach, but who is going to evangelize Saul? You run up on Saul as an apologist, he going to kill you. Yeah. You got to wait for the bright heart, light of Jesus yes, to yes. knock him off his beast. And I think, honestly, at least this is where I'm at now, I am embracing my limitations that I can't help everybody. Oh, yeah. And that's not an anger that you're a lost cause. It's just that I clearly don't have what you need right? because I'm preaching the same message and you're not changing. And, and, I, think it's, and I think it's choosing to love them where they are. Mm -hmm. And I think it's choosing to still tell the truth to them and wait on God to be the revelation. Yeah, man. Because some plant some water, but God gives the increase. Mm -hmm. And so I don't think that, I, lo I love what you said, I don't think that we stop preaching. Mm -hmm. I don't think that we stop reaching. I think we reach, we preach until God gives the increase that they need to come into awareness and revelation until change begins to happen in them all. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and, and because what we're learning is that all of that, what's that for, it really, it really, boils down to a heart issue. Mm -hmm. Well, I do think that some, because as you said last week, Green, some people really have a pure question. Why are we doing this? Yeah. But I genuine. think I think that when it's genuine, it's like I'm I'm going to support this until I have an uh, until I have an understanding because I believe this is where God's called me. And so until I really understand what is it for, then I can I can move on. It's just like um, I think that we demonize things that that are once again cultural or or, or, or the heart. Like I, I hear so many people demonize praise. Mm -hmm. The way certain Man. people that don't have no rhythm. People, right. People, <laughs> the only people that hate Mark. hooping are those that can't do it. Mark. The only people that hate praise Mark. are those who can't clap on beat. Yeah. We, no, come on. We hate what we can't have. And I'm gonna tell you because listen, like the that's no emotional. And no, I, you ain't got no rhythm. Right. And I think that it you speaks, can't dance. I think that it speaks to culture. And I think we cannot. I think that sometimes people get out of order. I think that happens. In, I think that out of order. Somebody is, must have rolled up on you in the parking lot. I'm saying, oh, man. deliver my soul. He's huh? right though. Yeah. TikTok, I mean, the TikTok main has ones, put praise under an assault. Mm, the main it, ones that don't like it are those that, that can't do it. You know what, though? Maybe there are some who really don't. Un I've had people who come to my church and they're like, Pastor, I really enjoyed your teaching. Why, why, wait, stop. That, why why did your end? voice change? Like, you know, there's, always, so there's always a personality many, has so many that, that comes with, Pastor, you know. Pastor. This is why we call him Legion. That's a type of person. <laughs> <laughs> Which you, one of you is you that? You will not call me Legion. Hello. I rebuke you. Which one of you? Who was in there? No, 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 no. Only Nathaniel and the Holy Spirit. But there are some people who don't understand. Like, why do y'all tune up? I, I That's probably that. a good WTF. Yeah, yeah. Why do we do that? Tune and 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 tune and or dance. I think. And I, let me say this, and we can speak to it being part of slavery and part mm -hmm. of culture. But I I think that it just speaks to style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's nothing wrong with having a style, uh, because I mean we can also say you know why does the teacher teach and then the and then the slow music comes behind them. Mm -hmm. I think that it we speaks that to music. style. Yes, do, do, yes I think do. that is. I think it speaks you, to. You preference. want like the prophetic kind? Who triggers has it all, man? Who triggers you know, which keys. is phenomenal time. You the want the okay? Hold on, I, give us the spooky keys. I got a little prophecy for you. You know, just to, you know, and I think. Hey! No, just, you got just key. Just key, okay. Just the yeah, key. you can take the drums out. It's a good yeah. app. Okay, okay, okay. There it is. Wow. That's, that's good right there. Yeah, and now. Now, you and still so, want a little spookier, though. Yeah. I got a little spookier. And so, 
Now I'm coming to my class. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. And and right, I admire your ability to hold on to this thought through all of this. <laughs> because you know why I'm holding on to it, Green? Because I hear it demonized. Yeah. You know, it's like, is it is it wrong that one person may dance in worship and another person may weep in worship? Yeah. Because I also think that that worship is not just slow music. No. Yeah. I think that I think that worship is your heart posture when you're giving God the glory that he yeah. deserves. Because I think, I think when you thank God, you're thanking God for what he's done. When you worship God, you worship him for who he is. Mm-hmm. And you have a revelation of that. So I'm, so you could be in a straight uh-huh. dance and I'm in worship because I'm dancing because of who he is, mm-hmm. not just because of what he's done. So when I hear people demonize it, I, I'm, 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 I'm hearing of people who, who are, trying to make everybody be who they, who they are. And I think that we have to be careful as preachers, yeah. you understand? Because everybody's not a dancer and that's no. okay. Yeah. Everybody's not a weeper and that's okay, you know? And I think that we gotta be careful. That's good. I'm sorry, but they, Hoop Triggers this is not even a commercial. They keep adding new stuff and it's so much more stuff up in here. I love so. that. This is, this is heavenly language is what they call this one. Heavenly language. Stay right there. Okay. I, when you started talking about worship and, and how we do it versus how others do it, my mind went back to something that I heard uh, Dr. Juanita Bynum say the other day. She was talking about worship, and she said, worship is not a song. It's a death. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. And I, th- I think our, many of us, our experience would be different, whether we can relate to the culture or not, if we would just be willing to die in the moment yeah. and just uh, give something a try that we've never done before. You know, l- let that dignity, where, where that, that thing inside of you that says, it don't take all that. Yeah. Let that die. Absolutely. And see what God will do. And I think, I think that sometimes we fight or yield. Mm-hmm. Because I'm gonna tell you, there's been times. We fight a yes. Yeah, there's been times where I, I have not, I was not in church, I just was in prayer. Yeah. And and a weep comes, and a wail comes, yeah. and a shout comes in prayer, out of my yield to God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand? So I think when we hear people shouting yeah. or in that deep weep or well, yeah. I, I think that I think that we need to be careful judging that. And, I think and, we got to remember I, the Holy Ghost is not intimidated by your personality. Absolutely. No, not at all. Think sometimes we reduce the God of glory to our cultural paradigms and he's so much bigger than the way we interpret it. Yeah. We have a tendency of wanting to keep God in the place we met him. Yeah. yeah. But but not just that, Mark. I yeah. think some of the demonizing of praise is because there are there's a sect of believer that's looking for behavioral change. Mm. They don't like that you dance like that in church, but you don't have the fruit of what you were dancing about ah, in your that's behaviors. True that's true. So too. what they're angry about is you're faking because we don't see the behavioral change when you're done. That's, that's true. But yeah. behavioral change is sanctification. Yeah, yeah. I gotta live that out every day. Yeah. Yeah. I dance because I'm grateful I have a chance ah. to be redeemed. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. So but, it's, yeah, I'm not dancing to, because I, I don't do that anymore. Yeah. I'm yeah. dancing because I got a way out. And that yeah. that's the death. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that that's just, the that death. That made it's, me want to dance. It's a daily death, man. Mm-hmm. My, my my dance, a lot of people are dancing for what they're getting ready to get and what God's about to do. Yeah. I'm dancing because he helped me to make uh, a decision. I got a question for you. A decision. When 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 you're thinking, because I, I watched yesterday, when, you, when you're when you thinking of the goodness of Jesus and, and the band was playing and it was a spiritual moment, you tilt your head a little, <laughs> a shoulder goes up, and you got this little like, <laughs> and I want to know. What is which, this crack which, jack which, jack you, No, 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 because you, 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 you had two strong fists and you and your legs started moving, and I said, ooh. No, wrong God, one, wrong God one. God that saved him from something. Well, hold on, hold on, right Green. Tell, what, you know that? who got to dance? Who? And I don't think the world knows it. Brandon Clack. Uh, he does. He does uh, in spirit has true. a dance. And let me tell you Clack something. Clack, boy. Y'all can't forget Clack grew up apostolic. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Where I came Ellis. from. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on Let him me tell you something. And that Clack got a dance. Yes, he He don't do it often, but that... I said, oh, that, 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 that,
Clap up a while. Hey, clapping and crying. <laughs> 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 <She was. laughs> clapping and crying. That clap got a dance on it. Before he prophesied to my brother in front of the whole church. I, yeah. And put all of his business out. I want to hide 10, right now. Thousand percent accurate. He's a prophet. He is a, a real one. Oh God, he no, can no, see no, no. through mud, and okay. I love it. I, yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 standard. What do we say to the rebel? Because we can't be all night. <laughs> what do we say to the rebel without a cause? That's angry at everything. Wow. You say, I want to see ministers here and thirty minutes before service. Why we got to do that? Right. You say we want our uh, platform presentation to match a certain where for example i'll use this as a real example spirit and truth we are adamant about being a church of multiple generations you all yeah. have been even when we got our our building is a very traditional old brick church building yep. and on the inside you know we had the option we didn't black out everything and make it no 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 i said no keep them chandeliers from 1958 yep. keep them yeah but now we're gonna put a 30 foot LED wall here, yeah, but leave them right. chandeliers, yeah. leave the wood. In fact, let's refresh Balance. them because when grandmama come, she's already going to be a little shook because it's loud, a lot of tech, a lot of young people, a lot of movement, but I do see them chandeliers. I mm -hmm. do feel. So even in our presentation, our, our dress, we're church of multiple generations. They hear that all the time. And so that means ABC, one, two, three, we don't do this. Not saying it's a sin, yeah. mm -hmm. right. not saying you're going to hell if you have da, da, da. But from a cultural standpoint, this is how we present. And there's always somebody somewhere that has a, but why? Why it's a challenge? What do we say to that, to that rebel, so to speak? Number one is you just, you just said it so Yeah, clear. you just answered it. It's culture. Okay. This, this is our culture. I'm the same way, Mark. I intentionally, in Hammond, we, at the Hammond Church, we were getting new uh, seats for the sanctuary, and everybody wanted chairs. I said, no, we're going to get some pews. Got you. Some padded pews, some nice ones. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we're going to redo the stage. I wanted to have a balance mm -hmm. of the way the room looked. Of course, you know, we got that big, huge screen in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it was just a balance. It was to give, make everybody feel at home in some type of way. Mm -hmm. All things all men, yeah. You know, and so, and then, you know, we still, uh, we, I purposely get up every now and then and break out in a hymn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you what's starting to happen with our culture the young people are starting to, they're going in before the older people in him. Yeah. Like, ooh, ooh, that, ooh, you understand? And so I think that it just speaks to balance. It's just who we are. Yeah. You understand? It's where God is taking us. It's what God is doing in us and with us. So are you saying, and then Clack, you got to weigh in on this and agree. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that, that because you don't present it as chapter and verse, the Bible, no, we don't do it because the Bible said. Right. You're saying, no, no, we don't do this because Bishop Jacob said. Absolutely. This and and with an problem. unapologetic, you know, this is this is what this is supposed to look. As the visionary, yeah. I see, and my job is to work until we see in the pews what we see in my spirit. Yeah. What What are you saying to that? If I were going to take the risk on trying to convince a rebel, you mm -hmm. know, because it's risky because you've never met a rebel that's not willing to kill. Yeah. Uh, but if I were going to take a risk on trying to wow. convince a rebel, I would really try to convince the rebel, hey, you matter beyond what you're trying to tear down. Yeah. You, you don't you don't have to tear it down because I really think you're just trying to make sure that we see you and that you have something to offer. I want to find where you fit. You don't have to tear this up in order to make sure you fit it. That's so good. Yeah. Green, what you think? Did, have any of you been in the homes of people who grew up in the era where they put plastic on the furniture? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, my grandma. And, yep. when, and when you walked, and my grandparents, they even had the plastic on the floor. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, that yeah, runner. Yeah, yeah, with the spikes the on the bottom. Yes, <laughs> yes sir. Oh, my yes, God. My he grew up in the same yes, house. Sir. Didn't know. Yes, sir. When you walked into that room, yeah. there was an awareness mm -hmm. that came to you that, oh, this room is unlike every other room. This is yeah. different. And I think it's inviting them to see, listen, all I'm trying to do is to create an awareness yeah. for the sake of protecting reverence. Hey, Amen. That's, wow. That's all this is. Yeah. An awareness. That's all this is. To protect this, reverence. This isn't me trying to oh. glorify me or anybody. I'm just trying to protect. Yeah. I want to protect Worship. the glory. I want to protect the sanctity. Yeah of what we're doing because it matters that, that much man. to me. Yeah. You should preach a message with that runner carpet and some old oh, furniture. I can good. see that. called awareness. I can and, see and that. Actually, and you know what? And not only that. Making it up. Let me add that to my file. I want to go back to what it's what God showed me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it's okay to say as a leader, this is what the Lord showed me when he called me to 
to birth this ministry or to take this ministry to, to the place where God has called me to take yeah. it. And it's okay. Mm. You know, and that's why that's why the Lord has called me to be the leader, to yeah. lead the people to what he showed me. And, and I said, God he didn't call said, you to be the leader. He called me to be the leader. Yet another voice. Are you tracking this? <laughs> what is that? Six voices? Yes, it's at least six. It's, 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 Don't almost you have these people out here thinking that I I'm got almost, multiple personalities? But you know what, nervous. The furniture is holy. It's distinct. Absolutely. Yeah. But the runners are cultural. This is just how yeah. I'm called to protect mm -hmm. this furniture. That's good, Clint. Yeah. So don't worship the spikes. Please. All but be aware of them. Be aware. Because they're here for a reason. Mm -hmm. If you don't do it, I am. You got 90 days. You just saw Don't tell me how long you I got, got to give the word. Days. Days. He gave me one he in the car today. To me. I'm preaching uh, <laughs> this coming Sunday. Like he steal. didn't give it to you. They like to steal my sermon, <laughs> y'all. You got you to gotta get the... I'm gonna tell you what's gonna be hard. I ain't telling y'all no more. It's hard. It's gonna be hard to get that couch wrapped in that in that. In Unless you find one, you got an old mother in your church right now that still got. Well, that. I'm gonna find another. Let her rent it. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> got it. When you uh -huh. find it, call it because I want to use it too. <laughs> <laughs> How about we all just do it on the same day? Right. Oh, there we oh, go. That will be fun. No, I'm gonna tell you. I sense fun. a platform the family room. Ah. That's what I'm about to say. Ah. One one You get, you get it, you get it, you get the revelation. So what he said was, <laughs> go with God and he'll go with you. <laughs> Listen, we got to get out of here. You, you said it. Go with God and go with you. Ah. <laughs> what are these little quick ah. and jerks? Oh. <laughs> that was good. Who that triggers was... has it all, man? I think, I think we should. I think we should. Uh, I think we should be with it. I with think we should. Oh, this is the close yeah. of the mess. Close, close of the mess. You already there. You. That's my Dorinda. You. I love her. Close this out, Nate. You it's want me been e flat? good. What key you want? Give me a key. E flat. Come on. It's been good. Go higher. Go higher. Go higher. Marcha. Oh, it's been good, y'all. Yeah, We've had a good time today, but we just want to encourage somebody to let you know we're not trying to be grand, but we just want to protect the standard because the God we serve is a God who's worthy. Put it in the comments. Oh, he's worthy. Watch it, Reverend. I want to hear Clack do that. Holla, Clack. It only works when the anointing is on me. <laughs> and even then, it's limited. I have limitations, and Tevin's not here without Tevin. I didn't stand a chance. I love you. Shout out you to Tevin. So love you, man. Oh, so, right. listen, so listen, listen. I thought we was going to dance out. Well, you know, who said we're not? I think that we <laughs> probably will. Green, but before we get that head, stiffen them shoulders. Hey! Listen. We want to make sure that you all have liked, you have shared, you have subscribed. That's what Jenkins means. <laughs> because there's so much. That <laughs> no, that's <laughs> younger. No, that's no, younger. That's Jacob. No, that's Jenkins. Younger come down that aisle. Yeah. yeah. Help. And younger will train. make you get up under this. Get up under this alone. Right. Get up get under, up this, under this. Get up under this. Get up under this. They don't have trombone yet. Oh, get I don't know they might. Because if we're going to use this at the ramp, we need the trombone. We do need the trombone. Uh, we do need the trombone. Uh, we do need the trombone. <laughs> what was that? was good, actually. I'm with you. I'm with you. That's good. So listen, it's been another Monday night with the preachers. Check your announcements. we got church announcements coming up after this. Govern yourself accordingly. Make sure you're registered for the master class. Make sure you're checking us out. If you're ever in Dallas, Texas, make your way to Grace Cathedral. Polk Street. Yes, sir. 7615 South Polk Street, Dallas. South Polk Street. They are the church that we had in Dallas. If you find yourself in Memphis, Tennessee, you want to go over to Reformation. We can find them every Sunday. And also remember, they have the uh, preventative, preventative pastries the poop in the lobby. <laughs> I wouldn't go say it's that. It's going to tear your belly up. Amen. Well, amen. No, it's preventative. <laughs> it's preventative. Unless you drink the coffee. Your belly. Unless you drink the coffee. If you find yourself in Indiana, Hammond, Indianapolis, or if on a fourth Sunday you happen to be in the state of Pennsylvania, particularly around the Philly side, make your way to Bishop Brandon Jacobs at New Zion Temple. And if you haven't registered for Ignite, 
I want you to register right now. Get your fire back for the glory And of God. if you haven't registered for Reformation Conference, guess who's going to be with me? Bishop Brandon Jenkins. That's Jacob. right. Who else going to be there? <laughs> Pastor Mark Moore. And who else going to be there? Uh -huh. And and they're going to both put a camera on me. They're both going to be at Marcus is teaching this year. I am. What did Bishop call preaching this Marketing year. Marcus? Huh? I don't know about all of that. But yeah, and if you're ever in Atlanta, come see us, McDonough Marriott, Atlanta, or even in Detroit, Thursdays and fourth Sundays. It's going to be a good time. We love you. We'll see y'all. Hit the share button, oh. subscribe. We're out of here. Listen, it has been another amazing week. Thank you for your shares. Thank you for your tags. But remember, go download Hoop Triggers Plus. Right it now. It is the perfect tool. Win? Right now. Win? Right now. Win? Ah, uh -huh, right now. Even now. It's the perfect tool. In fact, Pastor, Pastor Green, because we've got so much victory with this app, j just sing us out of here. Sing us out of here. Oh, victory. That's not it. It's on a reprise. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can see, you need to go download it. He won't be coming with the app, but go get it anyways. We'll right see you now. next time. Peace. Yeah. We love y'all. We out of here.